Inside this pharmacy, they're going to take a sample of my DNA because they say it can give me a better chance of fighting the ageing process. We all age differently depending on our genes. If we can work out what those genes are, can we tailor our skin care accordingly? Professor Chris Tumazu from Imperial College has invented a portable device that does genetic tests while you wait. So what we've done is, is we've taken your saliva and now we're going through a process of what we call DNA extraction. It's a very simple process. We've taken what would normally happen in a very sophisticated laboratory and brought it to the counter effectively. So what's going to happen to my DNA now? Yeah, so your DNA now has been placed onto this microchip. And on this chip, we basically have the signature DNA of the anti-aging mutation, which is collagen degradation. And so we're comparing now the DNA we extracted from you to the signature DNA on that chip. My profile is wirelessly pinged to a database in Hong Kong, and 30 minutes later, my anti-aging results are in. So you've got the results now? Yes. Well, what's yes. the story? What, what are they telling you? Because you've got a sea of ingredients there, so that doesn't mean anything to me. What's but it what telling you? what it means you? to me, by looking at those ingredients, is that you are a very fast degrader. No, I refuse to believe and this. And I refuse to believe it as well, <laughs> but you are, unfortunately. Oh, gosh, I'm <laughs> ageing so... before your eyes. <laughs> Based upon your genetic information, the database is recommending some of the very strong collagen-boosting actives. So what do you think the implications of this technology are? Well, I, I think, if anything, it's going to give consumer awareness of this sort of genetic technology. Yes, OK, trying to make beautiful people more beautiful, but really my major motivation is to make sick people better. And if we can drive this forward, particularly into the healthcare system, then it would mean that you'd see the future GP being able to take a saliva sample in his surgery and recommend the right drug for that individual.